late winter in northern Rus, the air sullen with wet that was neither rain nor snow. The brilliant February landscape had given way to the dreary gray of March, and the household of Pyotr Vladimirovich were all sniffing from the damp. And I did four years here in Vermont. I moved away after I graduated, um, and I moved back about a year ago, just because of friends in the area and um, wanting a quiet place to hold up and write novels. The book is set in Russia during the Middle Ages. It's a mix between sort of actual Russian history and Slavic folklore and mythology. It's funny because I, I studied Russian in college. I, I got a degree in Russian language and I really enjoyed ru everything Russian. When I finished college, I moved to Hawaii to work on a farm. Oddly enough, the farm next door to us had um, a Russian family working there. There was a dad and a mom and their older son and their little girl. Um, and the little girl was, she was so cute. She only spoke Russian and and she was five years old and her name was Vasilisa. Um, and and when I met her, I was like, that kid could be in a book. And 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 literally like that, she became my heroine and that kind of started off my, my book writing journey. I started drafting my first book in the summer of 2011, which I think five years from like draft to publication is not uncommon for a first novel. It can be a long process. I remember my dad read it early on and he was he was very skeptical of this whole novel writing project because it's, it's slightly kind of pie in the sky, like writing books, who does that? Um, and I remember he read it and he looked at me and he was like, honey, this is, this is not bad. As Catherine will tell you, we have very different tastes in, uh, in the kind of writing we enjoy. Um, Catherine's done her best to introduce me to the world of fantasy, and um, this was certainly a wonderful introduction. I always felt akin to my main character, Vasilisa, because she's, she's kind of a free spirit in a, in a world that's not sure how to deal with that, and I think I and probably a lot of women or people have, have felt that sense of, of wanting something else than what they're supposed to want or need in life. There's a lot of satisfaction in having people read what you wrote. Writing is very solitary a lot of the time. You're at a computer, you're thinking in your own head, you're making stuff up. Um, and the moment when you can share is, is really great. that day you realize it all kind of lines up and you have, you know, 400 pages of text that makes sense, it feels great. I have a small number of friends who, uh, who write um, and take their writing seriously, um, but Catherine's one of a kind in terms of her singular dedication to the craft. It's not always obvious learning how to write a book, and I feel like practice is your best ally. All you need is a computer and free time. Like no one was thinking of chill glints or runny noses or even wistfully of porridge and roast meats, for Dunya was to tell a story.